Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, I want to go ahead and get started putting some new grill cloth in that Shanti Clear 2D570. I spent some time yesterday afternoon doing the rub out on the finish and I'm pretty close on it. Got a few things to still touch up. But um, here's that grill cloth that was in the Shanti Clear 2D570 and you can see it's in bad shape. And I think I noted I'd try to reuse it, but uh, after a closer inspection, uh, it's just not uh, doable and uh, really wouldn't do the restoration any good at all. As much time as I spent on the cabinet and the electronics, uh, I need something that's gonna be more presentable. So I found a close match in color and design. And uh, so I was looking at the cardboard backing here. Uh, it's just plain old cardboard. But I think I noted in a prior video, I'd probably use illustration board Illustration board really works well where you got those flat surfaces and um, kind of forgot about the thickness of the material itself. So I'm not sure if this shows up well on camera or not, but here's a piece of uh, illustration board that I cut out uh, here earlier and you can see the problems I would have if I tried to use this particular material uh, for this application. Um, it would just make for a, a messy, uh, messy looking uh, restorer for sure. So um, anyway, you can pick up these uh, cardboard, um, you know, sheets at your local craft store. This is a, a chipboard uh, material, and I'll probably end up putting uh, two, three, or four of these pieces together to get the uh, desired thickness and get it pliable uh, to somewhat match the existing design, where when I wrap those corners, you know, I can get it kind of tucked back in there and close. So uh, I'm going to use some spray adhesive, um, probably the Super 77 product or one of the others I have, and put two or three of these pieces together, maybe even four. So let me decide on that off camera, get these pieces together, then we'll start cutting them out, and we'll stretch out the grill cloth here in just a bit and get it, uh, get it reattached here to the cardboard uh, backing material. All right, I took some time here to use the uh, spray adhesive, that uh, Super 77 by Scotch, and uh, kind of put these two pieces of cardboard stock back together. And uh, I thought about three, that was a little too much. And I tell you, two might be just a little problematic as well. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and then cut the uh, desired piece out that I need to lay the uh, speaker grill cloth over. And then I'm going to insert it into the cabinet and just see how it forms around the uh, contour of the grill bars prior to uh, putting on the grill cloth itself. I may end up having just to use one piece of stock cardboard. So. Uh, Let's uh, get this cut out here real quick. I had already used the illustration board and cut it out. Uh, the dimensions on this is about uh, right at nine and a half inches in length and about eight inches in height and then this angle. So I'm going to actually just use this piece of illustration board uh, that I've already cut to scale as my uh, template. And again, we'll check this out. And again, I may have to just move back to uh, one piece of cardboard. And I didn't do too good a job there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just making uh, multiple clean strokes here to on through here into the cutting mat. And that's like I'm through. I'll do the same thing here for this side. Let me go ahead and do these other little corner pieces here off camera. Okay, here's a look at the uh, cardboard. Again, I've got those two pieces glued together and that stock might still be just a hair thick. 
I'm starting to get just a little bit of creasing there, but I think the creasing's uh, right in the middle of the corner. I'm not sure to be noticeable. So um, I may still go with uh, one piece uh, here and just see what happens. And I may have some uh, different grill cloth. I'm trying to remember. I may be able to practice on another piece before I take my time and uh, adhere the uh, good grill cloth to the cardboard. Uh, just a practice run. Let me flip this around and we'll look at it from the uh, other side as well. Hard to do here on camera because again I don't have the uh, cardboard attached. But uh, that's the uh, kind of the look I'll end up with. And I was looking at my uh, pictures from uh, prior to the restoration. And I noticed the cardboard itself doesn't work itself all the way back. And the corner pieces uh, flush up against the wood. So, um, I'm not sure if this is showing up well on camera or not, but uh, that's uh, kind of what we're looking for. So, I may go ahead and give this a shot. Go ahead and put the uh, stretch out some grill cloth here, attach it to the uh, cardboard backing, and get this one section in. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at what I've got now. I've got the uh, fabric here. This is the uh, back side facing me. Again, my uh, grill bars will run uh, horizontal, and this particular uh, design will run uh, vertical to create some contrast with the uh, grill cloth. So the front side is here. I'll just double check myself, make sure I've got it right. And it appears I do. And I've got the grill cloth itself stretched out tight. I've got a, a corner guide piece here and what I'll do is go spray the adhesive and I'm going to use this uh, Elmer's spray adhesive. It's acid free and it's not supposed to stain so we'll see what happens here. I've got enough grill cloth. I can do this uh, maybe three or four times if I have to. But uh, I'll go spray this surface real well. Let it tack up for uh, you know 30 seconds or so and then come back and apply it here and then uh, let it adhere and then I'll take my uh, fabric uh, cutter and uh, cut out and trim around the uh, edge pieces. Okay, sorry I couldn't show this on camera but I needed to uh, anyway run over here real quick after spraying the adhesive outside and lay the, uh, the cardboard back down and here you can see what I ended up with and uh, then I just took a, a roller went across uh, the back side of the cardboard just to make sure that I uh, got the uh, grill cloth to adhere well. And then I just used the uh, fabric cutter here to uh, trim the edges up. So uh, I still need to uh, tidy up the edges here again where I had the tape and this uh, angle piece as well. So let me do that and then we'll flip it over and take a look at it. Okay, uh, use the uh, fabric cutter here and uh, cut off the uh, the extra there on the edges and uh, here's what I've got. Now again I'm going to let this set up for a while and uh, just make sure that uh, it doesn't come loose from the cardboard backing itself and then uh, we'll get it mounted in the uh, in the radio and check it out. So um, I think that looks uh, looks pretty good. The uh, vertical pieces of the fabric uh, seem to be running north to south pretty well. Uh, may not be perfect, but I think it's once it's in the radio, uh, you never be able to tell the difference. Okay, folks, uh, I've got the uh, grill cloth back in on this one side, and uh, you can see that uh, heck, it looks pretty good. I may have to do some little bit of adjusting. I've got it uh, making, uh, you know, fairly good contact here at the back side. And again, when I looked at the original photos, that original cardboard did not uh, make contact here with the uh, with the horizontal uh, louvers here. But uh, let me uh, just work off camera to keep the video short. Go ahead and produce this left side. Maybe I'll show a few segments of that because I need to cut a a circle out, like a five inch diameter circle for the speaker itself. Um, other than that, 
um, I'll follow the same process that I did here on the, this right uh, front section. Okay, I traced this uh, this other piece out here where the speaker itself sat, and uh, I've got all my uh, dimensions here ready. Got my uh, circle cutter out, so um, we'll see if this uh, closely mirrors the uh, the existing piece here. In just a minute, we'll do this cut out. So I think I'm through. Almost. Alright, looks like we're uh, getting close here. Let's see what we've got now. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me uh, match this up now. Probably not a good indicator here. Let me uh, go ahead and trim these pieces out. Then we'll flip this thing around and see if this uh, piece of cardboard here mirrors the original. Okay, I did the uh, trimming here. And I got a uh, pretty good match. Uh, it's close enough here. So let me go ahead and go get this uh, sprayed. Do a little more trimming here. Knock off a couple of these little edges here with my razor. Get the uh, spray adhesive here on the back of the uh, cardboard. Lay the uh, fabric back out again that I'll be using. And uh, get this mounted on the other side here. Okay, I've got the uh, spray adhesive here on the back. Or excuse me, on the front side of this piece. And I'm going to line this up. Again, I've got the uh, fabric itself stretched out tight. I put the spray adhesive on, let it tack up for about uh, 10 seconds or so. I'm just using a uh, little roller here just to apply some pressure. Use the fabric cutter here. Okay, let me uh, get the tape undone here, do a little bit more trimming. I'll get this back centered over here where we can take a look at it. Okay, here's the uh, finished piece. It uh, looks pretty good. Maybe off just a hair, but um, good enough for me. And uh, here's the back. So it seems to be uh, fairly tight across this area where the speaker itself is cut out. I'm going to uh, let that dry. Uh, just for a little bit, and then I'll uh, try forming this inside the cabinet. See what kind of results I get. Um, if uh, the desired results are not there, then I'll uh, just cut another piece of uh, fabric and uh, cardboard uh, pieces out here, and we'll uh, start over. Okay, uh, you're having a look now at the uh, cabinet with the grill cloth reinserted. And uh, I must say it turned out pretty well. Let me get the uh, chassis back in, and let's plug this radio back in and see if uh, it still plays. It's been uh, probably months now since I've uh, brought it up. I'll bring it back up on the Variac slowly, and um, we'll see what happens.